Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Margaret Lynch Ranieri here. I'm coming to you from a hotel room, you may be able to tell. Um, at a conference, my last day here at LaunchCon at the big conference in the uh, product launch formula world. But I wanted to make you a quick video about the Energy Healing Masterclass that I am hosting. This is being put on by Hay House, which is an amazing company. And so many people over the years, and even myself, have wondered, like, what is energy healing? Because I use tapping, which kind of falls in this category of energy psychology. But energy healing is actually a more broad field. And it's, it's so important to know what it is and what it can do for you. And the first thing to realize is that it is a broad field. Energy healing has a lot of different traditions um, and techniques and modalities and approaches but they encompass this this field called energy healing where we are taking advantage of the way energy moves in the body and recognizing that we do have an energy um and so energy healing is actually this broad field so what can it do for you because i really want to make sure you don't miss this amazing master class again i am hosting four master class webinars for hay house and i'm interviewing some amazing people like donna eden i mean don't you just love Donna Eden? If you have never heard of her name, which is hard to imagine, you will fall in love with her in that first interview where she will really teach you about the way she works with hands-on energy healing. I also interviewed Dawson Church and he talks about tapping, of course, which is something that I love. But the bigger thing is the science of energy healing that he reveals. It is amazing how far we've come in 30 years and what is um, scientifically proven now about energy healing. It's so freaking exciting. And I have amazing more, so many amazing more people to interview about Reiki and things like that. So you're starting to get a sense of all the different modalities. So here's the thing. Um, sometimes we think of energy healing like, oh, I tried, you know, tapping once or people have said to me, I did Reiki one time and I don't know, I don't really know what it did. Well, you want to recognize that there's different reasons to use energy healing. Most of the time that people get into energy healing, it's because they are trying to solve a problem. And often to go into real energy healing, it's because you have pain in your body. You have a disease that you've manifested and you feel overwhelmed, powerless, in pain. And conventional medicine has been rather a battle or maybe at best disappointing. Um, but even when you're using conventional medicine, energy healing is the perfect complement. And so there's whole ways of using energy healing to kick start the healing process in the body. And when you hear the science on this in my masterclass where I interview Dawson Church, it, it's going to blow your mind. Like I kept going like this in the interview. What? Like say that again. The science of how energy healing triggers healing in the body and is proven to do so is absolutely amazing. So healing something is a big reason to come on. Hi, Cynthia, is a big reason to come on and look at energy healing. But there's also two other ways to use it. And we'll be talking about this in the masterclass because it's people have so many misconceptions about it. And so if you have no pain in your body and you've always been fit and a super achiever, but you're noticing maybe at a certain age that you get more burned out or you feel more drained or empty inside and you can't just bounce back, you know, maybe for the first time in your life, you're getting sick more more often or adrenal fatigue is a good keyword. Well, this is another important space where energy medicine is so powerful because it can help you restore your energy and have a way to start hearing from your body. I mean, maybe hearing from our body about where we need to be in balance in this time in our life, as opposed to pushing ourselves too hard. Um, and that can be a variety of techniques that can be medication that can definitely be tapping because we look at what the underlying driver that makes us push ourselves so hard with the tapping technique. Um, but absolutely meditation, Reiki, any kind of meridian based energy healing, um, little moves that Donna teaches us right in that first master class. Um, it's amazing. And that you can just use to sort of recharge and restore and rebalance your energy. Um, but the third way to use it is often people stumble upon it um, when they find me or other people who are helping them get unstuck and into their power and out of procrastination and out of, you know, playing small and not charging our worth. Because in addition to using energy healing to heal and release trauma and release pain and to have a daily balance, sometimes we don't want to just be in balance. We have something big we want to do, right? And so we can also use energy healing to charge up 
our system, to actually ignite our power, which is really my passion. It's is where are you stuck in your life? And, and that is a power shortage. There's too much going on here. Um, too many rules, too many ways we push our energy down and say, oh, you know, that I, I'm going to feel guilty if I do that. And we don't have enough power energy igniting up through our system that helps us to have the courage or the willingness or the risk taking to say, you know, maybe I might not do the greatest job, but I'm, I can't wait to do it. And I'm putting myself out there like it's a risk I'm worth taking and I'll learn from it. Right. That's a different kind of energy than our mind saying, oh, my God, what if it's not perfect? pushing our energy down. And so there are distinct ways to use energy healing. And when you recognize that, um, it allows you to pick and choose. And so one of the things that we're going to show you in this series that I think is so powerful is how to create and be thoughtful about understanding what types of energy healing are good for you that your system actually likes. That your system is like, oh, mm, I like this one. This is like a go-to thing for me. So you can create your personalized energy healing protocol that you use on a daily basis. Now, when I started out years ago, I discovered tapping because I was training in hypnotherapy and I just wanted to help people. And I knew the subconscious mind was in the way. And then I found out about tapping because a lot of hypnotherapists use tapping. And once I found that out and, you know, with my little engineer brain, I was like, tapping is everything. Tapping, that's all you need is tapping. You know, I was a new believer. And when you're a new believer in something, you're like, that's all you need. It fixes everything, right? Tapping is my hammer. So everything looks like a nail. Um, and what I have discovered over the years is that tapping isn't enough for me. I also like energy healing techniques. I also like the meridian work that helps bring me in balance. I also need a daily ritual for me of quieting my mind and going within, also known as meditation, right? Or breathing exercises that help me bridge to that stillness within and make me a higher performer, basically, out of fight or flight and into higher performance. And so I have a personalized toolbox, if you will, that I don't, you know, full disclosure, use perfectly every day. And sometimes when I'm the most stressed out, that's when I forget to use it. It takes me a couple of days and I go, oh, I should probably go back to my routines. But I have a toolbox of stuff that feels good to me, that my system likes. And it's not everything, but it's certain pieces that I've picked. And it's so important for you to do that for yourself. And we're going to show you how to do that. I did put the URL up there. Um, if you haven't registered for the masterclass, you have to register. It's only available for a short amount of time. Again, it's not my uh, program. It is a Hay House event. I am just being honored and um, hosting the entire event. Um, because I'm a big piece of, um, I have a big chunk of energy healing that I am super proud of in all of my work. And so I am hosting it. I'm interviewing amazing people. You're also going to get specifically for me at the end of the second masterclass, we're going to do a, um, a very quick exercise that is going to diagnose your lower four chakras. Chakras are part of the energy healing world. And then in the beginning of webinar three, we're going to walk through what your results mean. And I know it's going to be a very emotional moving process. The other thing that Hay House done, has done, which is so amazing, you could sign up just for this, is so many handouts. They're giving you so many things that we're going to talk about in writing. So they've taken the topics, they've turned them into handouts because we know so many people are note takers. You'll be able to get this information um, and download all of these wonderful handouts to keep and to keep um, you on your path to, a, your again, your personalized energy healing toolbox, if you will, or, or daily practice or weekly practice. It's such a powerful modality. And there was something that, you know, as I was talking to Dawson Church, getting ready to interview him to know, like, what's the latest? Even though I adore Dawson, I would talk to him every week if I could. You know, he said, if you're not dealing with the energy side of the equation, you're missing such a huge piece. And I don't want you to miss out on any pieces. That's why I'm telling you about this. So if you haven't seen it, click the link, go check it out. Make sure you register um, because the first webinar is coming, I think, on Tuesday. But once you log in, 
you will see me on the welcome video and it's going to have a countdown right it's going to have all the dates of the webinar so you can put them in your calendar and it's going to have a countdown timer so we can see when it is um and i can't wait to get started on i think again i think it's tuesday night it's coming right around the corner and my brain is all discombobulated from being in a different time zone and being at this event um but i wanted to make sure you knew about that because it's going to be awesome and i love bringing you awesome things so this is margaret lintonary i got to get down to the conference signing off happy saturday and i will see you on that first live masterclass bye